So I was playing with my friends the other night, and uh, I invited a you know a couple of friends from YouTube and whatever else and TikTok. And this chair is really far back. So <clears throat> I finally realized the reason that we all game, and it was kind of an epiphany at the end of the night. I've I've sort of kind of gotten piece bits and pieces of this while I was playing at different times, but it really hit me yesterday pretty hard, and it was kind of funny too. Because I thought to myself, I was like, why do I like playing games? And in reality, I haven't really played with anyone in a while. And that's where, like, Always Game Time and I Reek of Awesome came in. Because I did end up playing with them, which was, which was fun. Like, DMZ really isn't that fun. PvP games are not that fun. People are shitting on me, I guess, because I just have, like, a bad take on PvP games. But at the end of the day... PvP, people ruin other things. People ruin things. So, PvP is ruined by people. It's not the game itself, right? And that's just an opinion. You can take it or leave it. I don't really give a shit. But but at the end of the day, I thought to myself, I was like, why do I like playing games? And I don't really like playing games now. I mean, it's just, it's. I'd rather make them or program or do something that's more constructive or just, you know, more useful for, for my time. And I've, I've, I've played games from probably when I was like 12 or 13 all the way up until I was like 20. You know, I, I still play them, but not all the time. But I've, I've been playing games since I was like 12. It's That's a long time. That's almost 20 years. So, wait. Yeah, 20, almost 20 years. <laughs> I'm 30. So, that's uh, math isn't my strong suit right, right now. It's too early for that shit. So, I thought to myself, I was like, why do I like playing games? And... I realize it's because of the people. I haven't played games with people in a while. And I realized it when I was playing last night with one of my buddies from childhood. And one of our other friends got on from childhood. And it was, you know, it was fun. It was really fun. And the game we were playing was Apex. And me and my friend were just, like, really pissed off at the game itself for, like, the Battle Royale portion. Battle Royale suck. I still stand by that. But... We also then started playing like the arenas thing where like it was like got team deathmatch, gunplay or whatever, gun game or whatever. And that was fun. That was actually fun for a little bit. Dom the domination and team deathmatch were more fun than like the gun the gun game portion of it. But regardless of that, I had fun playing with my friends, watching their backs, getting the witty comments, us talking shit to each other. Like that's what's that's what makes gaming fun. And, and, and I think that's the reason why we evolved from Pong. Well, maybe not Pong. Because Pong's kind of like a multiplayer game. Not really. But it's like a 2v... You know, a 1v1, you know, game. I, I think that's kind of where we evolved from, you know, Pac-Man to Call of Duty, right? I know that's two extremes. But if we had gaming and it was just a one-player experience, like it was just like a campaign experience or a PvE experience, I think that it would have just been... Gaming would have died a long time ago. Like, without the PvP, without the other people playing that you could play with or play against, I think gaming would have died a long time ago. And that's the evolution that I think I even have to accept. Because gaming itself right now for me... Some games are still fun. Classic games are still fun. Prototype, Prototype 2 is still fun. Spider House is still fun. Like, those are like, to me, those are just fun just to beat them up. You know, come, come home, beat up things, upgrade your shit. It was easy to play. It was almost mindless, but still was still fun to play. Like, I'm talking about genuine fun. Like, I rarely get mad when I die in a game like that, in, like, Prototype or in Hulk Ultimate Destruction, something that, like, I could just beat the crap out of things for hours and just have fun. <clears throat> but, like, when you play Call of Duty, you have to admit this, you're mad probably 80 to 90% of the time. And it's just because of the singular things that you die from, like the, the metas, the stupid fucking lag, the frame rate drop, the, the, the meta guns with all these attachments on it. Like, it's always something that it's just really stressful to play. So, this is this podcast is completely off topic, center, whatever you want to call it. But I just think about this the other, the other, the other night. And, uh, and I'm, I'm really just... I don't know. I've been kind of taking, this, taking it slower. Um, I'm kind of tired. I'm, I'm exhausted from all the content creation and, you know, even some of the games I've been playing. 
Uh, and I've been kind of doing a little bit more, um, maybe not like, what's, what's the word? More quality vi videos. Um, those will probably start coming out, I think, maybe like the week of the 22nd or something, which is like next week. So, um, yeah, I'm probably doing like more quality shorts, more quality long form content for a little bit, if not even, you know, forever, we'll see. But, um, I may still do some, you know, clips from this, from these podcast episodes, but yeah, a lot of things are going to be slowing down. I, th I think I've been just been spending a lot of time on making shorts and making long form content and just not really seeing the results. So, um, especially for volume too, it's like pretty much the same results from when I was posting like every single day. Like if I post three times a day, now I'm even seeing like the same results from when I was posting every day. You know, and then it's like, I'm like, well, why, why don't I try posting like three times a week or twice a week or once a week or something like, like that and see if that ha yields the same results as me posting, you know, what, three times seven, which is 21, 21 videos a week. You know, I, why don't I just post one or two that take me like 10, 12, 15, 20 hours or more to make versus me spending 15, 20, 30, 40 hours just like making all this content and then it just getting like a thousand views each or something along those lines. So, um, that's just, that's just something to think about whether you're content creation or whether you're not just like, just in general, just, you know, maybe think about if you're, if you're stressed or you're anxious about some, something, just think about kind of where you are right, right now and what you're spending your time on. And maybe you just want to take that, make, make that correction where it might be needed. Uh, for, for me, it's for making vi videos. It's not even about the outcome. I don't really, again, I don't do this for the views, but I do eventually want to get monetized because I have other things that I want to do with this channel. It's not just about getting views. It's not just about getting ad re revenue. I've already said this many times. I want to start a gaming co company. I've, I've, already, I've already taken the necessary steps to kind of start something, get something in motion. I'm making a mobile game. I'm going to be making many, many other games, but my real passion lies within game development and gaming has been a way for me to escape or kind of like forget about doing that kind of thing. I know it doesn't really make sense when you say it out loud, but it's like when you're nervous, you don't really know what to do and you don't really think of what you could do next. Like you kind of just do things that are, that are just like a, almost like a time waster, but just a, a filler for what you should be doing. And when you don't do those things, when you don't play games, when you don't do when you don't play Xbox, when you don't play computer games or whatever, and you actually have to face those demons, things start to get either easier, like harder at first, but then easier because then you realize, you know, I'm just using games to just escape what I really want to do. I I definitely want to report on games and I want to do these podcasts and be able to talk one to one with you know with the people that are watching, but at the same time, I don't I'm not really I, I don't have a passion for gaming like I used to. And I also don't have the time because I want to build other things. I want to write a, write a few stories. I, I, I want to create those companies. I want to do a bunch of different things that's just not really gaming related unless it's related to making games. And in that sense, making games is a lot more fun for me than it would be playing them. I've noticed that. Like even me playing my own game that I've been testing, like it's... It's better to do that. I feel like I'm doing something also with my life versus just sitting here just playing games. You, you, you know, and I and, and I don't I and I'm trying to be. Uh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to you know fucking call anyone out or anything. But it's like if you're sitting here playing games all your life, you know, it's like if that's what you want to do, great. But if you have other things, other ambitions that you that you have that you want to you know you want to take on, like playing games is not gonna not gonna do that. So. Go attack those things head first. Even if you fail fifty thousand times, fail fifty thousand times and get up fifty one. You know, f you know, fifty thousand in one time, right? Because that's all it really does take. It just takes one good idea, one execution that that'll get you to your to your next thing. I know this is kind of like a motivational speech. It's not really meant to be, but it's just kind of like the realization that that, that I've been having. Um, and I'm probably going to take like a more of a step away from making all this content, as I said. So this, this is just kind of like an update video also. Uh, but the true meaning, the true meaning of gaming, I wholeheartedly believe is you just playing with your friends 
And that's why PvP was introduced. Because people were like, let's, like, game developers and whatever else, the community was like, let's take it a step further. Let's make it so that they can actually fight with one another instead of just, you know, playing with each other. You know, like a PvE experience where it's just like four or five players, whatever, versus an environment. Um, which it does add a new di dynamic. But what I've realized that is that people ruin things. Like, that's what I meant by, well, you're, I don't think you're going to see it yet. I, I think it comes out next week. But... Uh, the video that I made or that I'm, that's going to come out is pretty much about the custom emblems in Call of Duty and why they aren't, you know, they aren't there. Like, it's pe it's a select few of people that ruin it for everyone else. So, think about it this way. If Call of Duty sucks, it's because of the select few of people that made it suck. Either somebody in power complained, like a large streamer complained and they removed something, or um, it's like... A, a creator makes a video about a meta weapon and now everyone's using it because the other 58,000 creators that are out there that want to copy the same for formula makes that for that that video about the meta um you know but i'm not really interested in a lot of these games that 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 are that are out now there's i'm i'm more interested and it's it's hard to kind of describe but i'm more interested in being a part of the thing that's made so I don't really care about playing the end product. I do care about playing it, especially if I was a part of making it. But it's like playing a game like, let's say, and, and, and like an epic game like God of War. I'd rather be on the team that makes that happen versus being the guy that's just like, oh my God, that was such a cool thing that they added in the... Like, it's so stupid. I, I, I'm just like, I'm so over like pretending, not even like pretending, but just like... Yeah, I guess maybe acting. Acting like I give a shit about, like, the end product when I wasn't a part of it. You know what I mean? Um, I, I like sharing my opinions on the games, where they're headed, where gaming is headed, and stuff like that. That's still fun. But I feel like it's kind of like, at this point, it's just kind of, like, fake. Because it's just, I can't, I can't get on board with just being there, looking at a game, and being like, yeah, this is so much fun to play. Like, I don't really have a genuine fun playing any games anymore. Like, I even played pro the Prototype 1. I probably should try Prototype 2, 2 again before I even go through with Prototype 1 again. But, like, some of the stuff, it, it was really cool, that, you know, This, but but again, it's all about the simplicity for me. I'm I'm enjoying the simplicity. I, I always enjoy the, the, the simplicity of the game itself and, and the feeling of upgrades and... Uh, like fighting, like and stuff like that. It's just I don't know. I, I just I just felt like that Call of Duty Battle for Two prototype, prototype two, like that stuff was easy to play. It was just easy and it was fun. It was mindless and it just made gaming more fun. It just wasn't. It wasn't as oh oh yeah okay we're good. I'm just making sure. I thought we uh we were we were not recording. I was about to be so mad. <laughs> I know I always interrupt our podcast with this kind of stuff. So. I, I'm not sure what else there is to say, because there really isn't much to say. But ga gaming is uh, gaming for me is pretty much done. Um, and I don't know. I I don't know if if it was this like it was this stuff like it was the you know the having to play games you know to just to like get some attention, um, or if it was just because I just grew out of it. Because I, I couldn't tell you. I, I, I'm not really sure. I, it just, it feels like, it feels like uh, almost like a burden right now. Especially like to make videos. But I, I do get that on occasion. But it's like now it's just, it just feels more empty. Like I, I want to mess with AI to like make games. I want to do a bunch of different things in my, in my life. And I feel like that just playing games and making videos about the games really isn't going to make any of that happen. You know, like I thought that I could probably use this as a stepping stone. I definitely learned a lot, definitely from the audience. I definitely learned a lot from you guys, like what people want to watch, what people don't want to watch. I, I mean, I pay attention to all the analytics and I, I've been studying this stuff to make sure that I'm actually learning something from it, not just putting out videos for fun. Um, you know, there's still something I don't really understand, which is the YouTube shorts algorithm. That is just, that is a fucking animal. I still don't understand that. That's, that's supposed to be like super simple, but it's not, it just doesn't make sense to me. It was simple when it first came out. You watched one video and it was like, you'd see the whole thing. You, you would see every video from that creator for like ever. It was just, it was weird. But now it's like, now it's, they, I don't know. They've done so much to it. It's crazy. So 
I'm tired is what I'm pretty much saying. <laughs> I'm exhausted from all this stuff. And I do enjoy it. I enjoy editing sometimes. I enjoy, you know, doing this production. I enjoy, you know, you know, I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy everything about this, but I just don't, I sometimes I think to myself, I'm like, why am I really do, doing this? And, and then I, I, I have to, I have to always, I always end up, I always end up thinking too much. Maybe I think too, too, too much, but I definitely think too much. Not maybe, but then I'm, I'm thinking to myself, this, I'm doing this to like, as a stepping stone. I'm not doing this to like the end game. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and I hope that anyone that does do this kind of stuff, even if it's Mr. Beast, I, I, I hope that this is not the end game for him. Like, it's not, it doesn't seem like it, they're making businesses and stuff like that. But, like, I, I hope that Mr. Beast doesn't de dedicate his entire life to YouTube. I hope he's actually doing something else that he wants to do. But it sounds like he is because he's making, you know, companies associated with, with, with the Mr. Beast brand. That's something that I was trying to do, really. Um, but I also don't want the brands to be all, you know, the same as my stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I, I don't want it to be, like, massive, you know, media, massive gaming you know massive cloud gaming like you know what i mean like i don't really want that i kind of want this companies to stand all on their own and have it just be like an umbrella com company for of all, that, of all that stuff or like one incorporation or something owns all those companies um but yeah this is not the end game for, for me so anyone that's ever commented like you should stop this it's like it's not i'm not doing this for you like i'm not doing this to you know to like get views. I don't care about the views. I, I, what I care about is improving myself every single day and improving my videos every single time. So there's going to be stuff that's going to be experimenting. Like I experiment all the time on this channel. That's probably why it's so all, all, all over the place, especially with views. Cause it's just like, I'm always trying new things. Like I'm trying new, you know, shorts videos that I'll make out, out of this, or I'll be trying new, whatever, you know what I mean? So uh, well, new, new video to topics. Like I, I just posted one about hell divers too. And I was like a long form video that I've never really, oh, well, I've kind of done something similar to it, but it's more of like a new slash funny, entertaining video about the game itself. Gives you some facts and kind of, you know, whatever, but that only got three views. So I, I don't know if it just hasn't had enough time on YouTube yet, or if it just doesn't, if it hasn't resonated with the seed audience that it gets sent to. Um, so that's kind of like the the uh, thing it's it's discouraging but at the same time it's like ah, who cares like you know who cares if they watch it or not you know like think about this as like a portfolio and the people that like the stuff that you make will hire you for what they want you to do you know what i mean and i know how to grow on social media it's pretty easy to grow now gaining an audience gaining a following that's 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 a lot harder building a brand that's a lot harder you know just do what Andrew Tate did. Do what Andrew Tate did if if you want to build, uh, and a, like if you want to build not not even a brand. If you want to build, like a, just you want to just get views. Just it's either you have to have a headstrong opinion, or you have to have like a headstrong argument or something. And it has to it has to be like like it has to it has to drive attention. Like Call of Duty sucks. You know what I mean? Like that has to have, like that's the topic right there, right? Or Nadia is cheating. Like that has to be the topic for your videos or your channel or whatever you want to make it for. You know what I mean? And I, I just, I haven't really niched down because I don't, I don't have like one singular interest. I started this channel on Warzone, but in reality, Warzone was difficult to even like. Again, I know I never really liked ba ba Battle Royales. I tried so hard to like Warzone. It was very difficult. It's a very difficult, very difficult thing to do. But I enjoyed making the videos. That's really what kept me going. I enjoyed making the videos on the topics. I did some meta videos, but I just didn't really like it because it just it was like it was like here guys, overpowered weapon to ruin the whole community's fucking time. Like that's really what it, that's really what meta weapons were. So that's why I kind of stopped doing those videos and I started doing like a little bit more, you know, of like here's the cool thing, here's a cool glitch in Warzone. Um a lot of times I also wouldn't put how to do the glitch on, on Warzone, especially if it was like game breaking or if you get to a rock or kill multiple teams or whatever. Like that was also why I never did that stuff because it was just, it was just like, it ruined the experience. I don't, I didn't want to contribute to that, to that. But yes, I did post videos about that stuff 
And sometimes I would put the way on how to do it because I realized if you look back in the analytics, a lot of times the videos that you just like post, this glitch is broke or this glitch is breaking some, something where I'm not going to show you how to do it. Those view, those videos get less views than the ones that you show them how to do it. So it's just a matter of like the other thing that really dictates a lot of creators ske schedules and what they post about is the, is the audience. Like, it's very simple to give the audience what they want because it's very simple. They always want the answer to everything. They want everything to be spoon fed to them. That's just the way it is. And that's why a lot of these, that's why the meta vi videos for Warzone got so many views is because everybody wanted to see the meta. It's all they wanted to see at the time. So that's something to think about for yourself. If you, that's the, if that's the kind of videos that you like watching. Because it's it's if they're gonna if you're gonna watch it they're gonna keep producing them so don't blame anyone else but the audience that's watching them if there's millions of people watching it then that's the mirror you're pointing back at yourself there you know you're pointing back at yourself if you're like why does this streamer always make these videos about metas it's like right there that's the reason why because you keep watching it stop watching the meta videos and then they'll stop making them. <laughs> But everyone wanted to always have the strongest gun so that they'd always have the advantage. That's the reason why. But, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it just gets... Even this is exhausting. Even this talking in this camera is exhausting because it's just, it's just a, you know, I'm just tired. I'm just old. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to uh, go on vacation again. That's not until December, so... Damn. <laughs> Damn! We're not, we're, not, we're not going on vacation until, un, until December again. That sucks. <laughs> oh god well i enjoy i i hope that you enjoyed this babble and uh if you didn't just dislike the video because I, I know there's gonna be probably at least one there's always that there's always that one dickhead that's just like oh he's sharing his feelings fucking dislike you know there's always that guy <laughs> and that you know it's funny because like i'll see i've seen some videos um on my channel where it's just like it has no likes, right? But it has like one dislike. You're like, that guy's life sucks. I have never disliked a video. I've never disliked a video before. There, There is not anything that I've seen yet that is worthy of disliking. But I'm sure that some of you will, will see different, especially if you get this far. Most of, the dis, most of the dislikers don't get this far into the video. They'll usually like first five minutes or like first, not even, they'll like first th 35 seconds, like eh, boring. They'll just, they'll just dislike it because it's not, I don't really know what people want anymore, to be honest. <laughs> they want it to be super entertaining, but educational, but also it shouldn't be wasting their time. But then it also should be super educating in like, in like an in-depth tutorial of this one thing that teaches them knowledge for life. It's just a very confusing mess. Yeah, don't um don't get into content creation if you can avoid it. <laughs>